Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to talk about the printing, how to print and all that. Um, like how to first install a printer or discover a network printer and how to do the printing from uh, Mac. Now to get the printer is pretty straightforward. All of these um, modern devices modern printers they have built in the uh, built-in drivers softwares uh, for both apple and windows um, apple works with airprint and bonjour uh, in conjunction with like they both uh, work together to get the printing done over the network for windows <coughs> there are built-in software uh, so drivers uh, you know it's very popular so you nowadays you rarely ever have to go and download the drivers yourself and install the most of the time the process is pretty uh, straightforward or and simple as going and scanning for the printer and you can see as soon as I click that plus sign here it went over to my network and got the Epson that is my printer and you can see it says Bonjour so basically Bonjour is a service specifically for Apple devices they, they, they keep sending uh, signals over the network hey I'm here if you need me so over and over again so all of these devices they can dis self discover or discover each other uh, from uh, on the internet not self-discover more like self uh, advertising now you can see how secure airprint so basically airprint is a technology that sends your uh, document from your phone tablet whatever you have your uh, you have that document uh, open on that device over the network to your printer so that's how you do it so if I click add <coughs> it's gonna set up And you can see now for the printer it's idle loss used and it's showing up here if I now it's ready to be used by my device if I am to close this go to um, you can have open any document it will work exactly the same I'm just gonna try sh uh, showing you from the web browser again it's always going to be under file you can click print or you can use the uh, keyboard shortcut command P and it will show up open up this dialog box <clears throat> it will give you a print preview over here on this side and on this side these are the settings make sure you have the correct printer set up here uh, when I used to uh, have uh, my home office I had two set uh, printers set up so I uh, you want to make sure that you are sending the print job to the correct printer from here destination and this is our pr pretty straightforward you want to print all pages or you want to custom I normally try to do custom and select the pages that I want because if you are printing a web page it can uh, print all of them and maybe you just needed one page uh, on Windows it's pretty good you can select the uh, the text that you want to print and then print just that text I really like that now you can set up copies portrait or landscape here and the color like you want it color or black and white now there are some more settings that uh, you can play around paper size is very important once I fixed uh, a problem but they were using the wrong uh, paper size and I think it's pretty common other than the cause for changing the <coughs> Uh, toner most of the time it's just the wrong paper size or uh, garbled uh, garbage letters printing that's almost always the driver so you can simply restart and install the new drivers restart helps uh, in you know if you remove the, or stop the service remove the driver restart it it goes to the uh, print server re-download the correct uh, uh, drivers and 
everything is good sometimes you do have to go and fix the IP address or alright so all you have to do is pr click print and it will print the page out for you now it's pretty straightforward pretty simple for the printer like I said there might be a need for you if you have an old printer it does not have the <coughs> built-in drivers or whatever from the uh, like back in the day they did not have any you can always try going to your manufacturer's site like I mine is Epson I will go over there and go to Epson website if you have an HP brothers uh, Dell what whichever you just go over there and yep mine is eco time so you just go over there go to their website search the exact model number model number is always on the printer's front you can all just type it in and you're looking for uh, drivers for the Mac you will go for the Mac drivers for the Windows you will go for the Windows driver all right so let's wrap this video here I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one